gonna pull the tongue of it this way and see if we can. Yeah, you're, th if this one would be a lot easier for us, yeah. I don't even know, man. PD called us to remove this one. It's uh, it's gonna be challenging to say the least. We're gonna see if we can get it uh, drug sideways and then try and load it on to the rollback.
need somebody to come and pick this up. <laughs>
how you can't become a leader. And I mean, this thing was supposed to be called this morning. I don't know what the white communication happened or whatever, but I'm going to talk to the rookie area and have to back up this morning. So, you say they're not taking the trailer. Oh, yeah, I got a guy on his way to get the trailer. Yeah, it all has to go. Right, right. Yeah, I got a man on that. He's coming to get his trailer right now. They just got to get a tire for it. Uh, yeah. 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 So get it. it just all has to go when you get started. Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting that off of the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John just confirmed. He paid it already, so. Uh, Did Carrie call you all? Yeah. I'll take care of that now. guys i don't even know what to say about that pd call uh they called us for removal of that um i thought maybe it was a tow dolly uh, but nevertheless we sent two trucks just because i'm figuring we're going to have to pick the vehicle up and tow the tow dolly and then tow the vehicle separately uh we get there and you see the situation 
You know, I'm yelling and screaming at this lady to get down, and I, I could care less about towing her car uh, or any of that situation there. They're saying it was $200. They had another company coming to take care of all that for 200 bucks. I would, not worth it. Not worth what was about to happen there. Try to get that thing off the trailer and unmarried and secure and then try to figure out how to get the van all the way to Morristown for $200. I'm not sure what's going on with that situation, but that was that was horrible. And, and like I said, I didn't care about the call. It was it was for her safety. People don't understand. I had this thing, I had this thing movable, so I had it up in the air on the jack, so it would roll, so I could scoot it around. And she comes running and jumps up on. If that thing would have taken across across the trailer, across the parking lot with her on it, she could have been run over. I don't even know. I mean. I understand she's upset about her van, but goodness gracious, to come, I, I, that's the first thing people want to do is, is jump on there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. You, you see it. You'll see the video. I'm not sure what pe goes through people's minds on that stuff. But at the end of the day, another company's coming to get it. We just bowed out of that one and uh, we'll get the... We'll get the next call but thought i would share that with you they said it broke down yesterday blew a tire they continued to drive pulled it into city hall parking lot so it's uh it's the city's private lot and then just left it it was supposed to have been out of there uh dispatch told me it's supposed to be out of there by 10. um you know it was 11 30 when we were there so i'm not sure what happened there with the communication but hopefully they'll be able to get that from my understanding, the company that's coming is going to remove the van from the trailer and is only taking the van. So how they get that off of the trailer without the trailer moving around, like the trailer's gonna have to be hooked to something before you can pull that out. It was squeezed in there like a sardine in a can. I uh, probably should have stuck around, I guess, and tried to get you guys that video, because I bet that was that was gonna be interesting, how, how that van got pulled off of that trailer magically, but. Anyway, it'll happen, I guess, and if it don't, they'll call us back and, and we'll go back over there for the removal of that one. But thought I'd share that with you guys. Stick around, stay tuned. Probably got crazier stuff coming. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here at the shop having a little bit of a, a shop day and um, kind of a long-awaited uh, spruce up Big Red over here for today for me. If you guys watch the channel, you know... I, I kind of like my fancy bumpers, so big white over here hiding in the corner. We've ordered, uh, you know, our our nice bumper for it, and it just it just makes it look way better for the international trucks, in my opinion. Uh, gives me a little place to put my light bar and and some more chrome, and I just like the way it looks. So, in true fashion, that's exactly what we're going to do to um, this big red over here. She's over here tucked in. And guys, like I said, I still haven't had a chance to do much to her. She's, uh, uh, you know, I've got a bunch of parts that need to go on it and, and some paint work before we get it logoed up. But this bumper is gonna make a huge transformation in the truck, in my opinion. And uh, that's what we've got here today. We've got uh, a delivery. We had to go meet the semi driver for this one because it's a huge box. And, and yes, I did open it up. Uh, I hate to have one of those on camera moments where you know i opened up it's and it's completely destroyed so i always look at it first and then fire open the camera so you guys don't have to listen to me say choice words at least i've not gotten it out of the box yet but, but from looking at the back side of it i don't see it crushed up or any huge dents and these things are expensive guys so if uh if you've never bought one of these it's expensive to have them delivered and it's expensive uh to order them I got the last one from a company over in California and to get it here was oh, was crazy. I'll just tell you guys, this one was, I think this was $2,200 for, uh, which is not bad for a yeah, custom chrome plated. They do all of the fixings, but you just never know how they're going to arrive. And um, sorry, the garage is a little messy. I've got, <laughs> I've just got projects everywhere. We still got the LS that needs to go in the FRS that's up there on the other side of the shop van. And Coven had some drama uh, for the motorcycle. I had some more, so speaking of things, when you get them, you don't know what they're gonna be. I had a delivery for some snatch blocks that we needed for Big Red. And when I got it, it was taped up kinda like that. And that side down there was open. Well, guess what? I ordered four snatch blocks. One of them slid out. And uh, 
you know, in turn, I got three snatch blocks for the price of four. And I'm fighting with that company because, you know, nobody believes you. You'll call them and, and tell them, yeah, you know, one fell out of the box. What are the odds of, of one falling out of the box? They automatically think that you're trying to scam them. But in, uh, in more good things, we've got cameras everywhere surrounding the property. So I've got UPS, I'm sorry, FedEx delivering this and it was missing when he uh, took it off the truck. So cameras are a good thing. Uh, Coven, on the other hand, some Coven drama here with the bike. It um, had a tire put on and the, uh, the shop didn't put a spacer back in the wheel and we had no idea that a spacer had fallen out on their machine and the bike got put back together, tightened up and went down the road. And well, as you can imagine, without the spacer, there's what happens to bearings without the, uh, without the spacer in there. So we're waiting on some new bearings and some new, uh, new swing arm and parts for Coven's. But anyway, that's just a little bit of what's going on in the shop today. I won't even get into the old Cobra over here. Like I said, we've, uh, this thing has been a battle. Um, Holly, it's got the EFI sniper uh, fuel injection kit on it, and Holly had sent me. Uh, it went bad. The controller went bad. Uh, the injector uh, fire. I don't know. Somehow the ECU went bad. And Holly decided they were going to warranty it. Well, I sent everything to them, and everything's back ordered because of the computer chips. So they had to send me a whole brand new unit, which is cool. But the SD card was supposed to have been mailed back to me too, and that contained my tune file. So uh, they have lost that. So now I've got now I've got to get that car back over and get it back on the dyno and get it retuned because I didn't save the footage or save the, uh, the SD card on that. So anyway, uh, that could be fun. That could be a whole new video. We needed to get that thing back on the dyno anyway. I'm sure it needed some adjustments. Gosh, I've just got tons of stuff going on, guys. We've got still got a bunch of stuff that needs to go. Uh, out and on and, and repairs but stick around stay tuned we're going to see what this bumper looks like on big red over here and uh see if we can make it look a little prettier okay guys i thought i'd bring the most satisfying part to you from me and butters she's been a big help laying there supervising in the floor but uh i'm going to peel the coating off because it's the most it's the most satisfying part Bumper went on good. Um, I've seen a few little chips um, and marks just in the shipping, and you know, I guess that's to be expected on on things like this. But uh, they did a pretty good job with all of the packaging and things like that. But this coating, and I peeled it off around my bolt holes, so I wouldn't have it tucked behind those. I'm trying to trying to get that off there as I. As I went, but let's see if we can get the rest of it to come off in a halfway decent one big piece. Sorry, about it took you five. I know you did 14 circles. Trying to get comfortable there. Plus, I can uh, I can get up in the morning and do my morning routine from that. Brush my beard. What a difference! Comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think. I, I mean, that thing. I mean, that's just not even cool. Sure, it's chrome, but that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I really, I really enjoy my bumpers. And uh, I think it did a really good job as far as making it look very nice. Thinking about some stacks. Needs one right there, one right there. 
I don't know what I'm going to do there, but that'd be cool to get some stacks, maybe a visor and uh, definitely a ton of lights, but uh, super excited. Can't wait. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Today, it's going to rain first and foremost, and we're expecting two inches tonight. So probably better have the different boots ready for this evening. But uh, here we are, we're in the shop and I'm just doing some, some maintenance on things, trying to get big red ready for some big red chains. So here I am, I've got, uh, thank goodness for giant pieces of cardboard. So this is what the bumper came in. Uh, our big, huge chrome bumper came in this. So I, uh, I thought while I've got this big piece of cardboard, I'm gonna use it to my advantage so I don't yuck up my gravel because I hate, I hate dirty, nasty looking gravel. I like, I like non nasty gravel. So anyway, but this worked perfect guys. I got them, I guess before I get into it, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of putting your steel or your chains in vinegar, but um, come with me and look at the bucket. So these chains were in that bucket of goo. And I had them in that for about, I'm gonna guess about a week. Pulled them out a week later, they looked brand new. They, they were shiny, they were silver. I thought about doing some oil, thought about coating them up with some oil, but you're, grip, you're grabbing them out of the toolbox and you're dragging them down the side of your clothes and then not to mention when that oily chain hits the dirt and gravel, everything in the world sticks to it. So I have chosen to paint, uh, probably not the best choice of color, uh, I know probably a lot of people are going to drop some comments. I think that light color blue. I think that color blue is the chosen color for chain. Uh, just because I think that color stands out uh, the best in the in the that world. <laughs> but um, I got these chains fixed up here. I'm probably going to use this one for my frame chain for the back of our box trucks and things like that. I needed to get another uh, chain tightener. Um, my two little ones got a couple of two little ones here and you know me and Kristen we don't want to damage anything even though it is a big ugly gross box truck I still don't want to put any extra scratches on any of that stuff so um, a big shout out again uh, to all of my fire hose folks out there um, appreciate you guys sending me this stuff and and I do uh, I do put it to good use this is my remedy to scratches on these. You know, we might use these for bigger box truck rims. We might use this for the underbelly of cars. However it is, when that when that hook goes in there, I can slide this around and this could go up against body skirts and bumpers and things like that. So I like to have that on there. Just a little explanation on that. So anyway, it's just a, it's just a garage day and big red. I know we've been getting a lot of uh, folks asking me, when are we gonna get videos and things like that. And I'm getting a little further with it. I've been, I've been hashing out the last two days. I got, let's just go check it out. I'll turn on the lights first for you. I got some- uh, Go show the bumper. I got, I got my lights down here. I just went to, um, oh, I went to Ace Hardware, I believe it was. And I grabbed that little piece of aluminum because I didn't want to drill holes in my $2,200 bumper. And uh, that piece of aluminum was way easier. I kind of wish it was longer, but I think it'll be okay. So, so that's that, and I like the I like the look of that. I did put them down the doors, uh, so we can uh, not trip and fall when we're getting out of the truck. I kind of wanted to run them down, but I got my my dollies are mounted there, and and I didn't want to drill into the body. Um, I might run a short piece of lights back there, or I might come up there. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about that. I'm all in the name of of uh, of more lights and being able to see us and be invisible. Uh, but cool stuff. Drop a comment down below and give Kristen a huge shout out for our logo making. She does an amazing job on this stuff. So while I was down here doing all the lights and wiring and, and this and that, she was up there in her office doing, um, sticker stuff. And we landed on, we landed on this just because this is what we had left over from previous jobs. So we did a, um, like a charcoal gray, uh, white and then a black outline. And I think it I think it pops with the red. I think it's amazing. Um, we've not gotten all of our, our city logos and things like that on it yet, just because I still have to still have to paint the old mangy bed back here. 
And uh, probably not gonna do anything too fancy with it because these doors are gonna be flinging open. They're gonna bang things and ah. So we're gonna get some paint on that. We're gonna get it logoed. But I did change out. I put us a nice new reel for our air. It's got onboard air. Um, and uh, I started painting the boom. And again, I landed on some silver. Well, it's kind of like a battleship gray, I guess. Uh, but I got my winches done in black. I did gray on the boom. Um, redid our box truck or our big, heavy, medium duty sling. I uh, got some back, more black paint back here. This stuff back here, I didn't do yet. It's kind of wiped it off. And as I wiped it off, I thought, well, it's not half bad. Plus I didn't have any yellow laying around. So I just, I was content with wiping off the, the sheaves there. And uh, these things were new. So didn't really need to, to do anything with those. They're looking pretty good. So, okay. I just want to point out the reason why you kept those red and yellow is because these are color coordinated color coordinated yay so yeah when you're out and you're on one side or the other and if you guys have never operated a tow truck you it's it's weird you'll you'll be you'll you'll have a favorite side and, I, and i've got a favorite side to the truck and you'll start working the controllers but then when you have to go to the other side because of traffic or or there's no real estate there and it's a complete drop off when you come to the other side you're like uh which one's which so that's kind of nice. I wanted to do it with our little wrecker. Uh, I've just been fighting, push it and see what it does. <laughs> kind of method here lately, but that's very nice because there's no second guessing. You can look at, you can look at what's going on there. And um, our big toolbox in the in the top there has got all of our uh, frame forks and uh, our stuff for our bigger uh, RVs and, and things like that. So we're really excited to use this thing. Not really had a chance to. We we did the recovery on the on the little excavator. Uh, that'll probably come out before this video. So we have we have used it a couple of different times. Um, it's it's an amazing truck. It really is. I feel like I stole it. I think I owe the guy more money. It's got it does have the DT 466 uh, engine in it. Here I am doing this here when everybody and their brothers ask me about videos of the little truck and I've not done that. <laughs> but the big truck comes first, I guess. We ordered um, we ordered some snacks. I've got a whole toolbox. So we've got. Uh, piles of, of snatch blocks and D-rings and, and shovels and we're getting there. It's, it's really hard to stock a whole another truck, um, but we're getting there with, uh, with stuff like that and um, uh, plenty of blocks and flares and we like to keep these extra, I'll probably just go ahead and throw those in there. Uh, we like to keep extra fire hose stuff. Um, the other side? The other side? I will have a GTO body. <laughs> for somebody out there in the YouTube world. So if you're watching this video, drop a comment down below if you might be interested in all of its glory because we pulled motor and transmission out for the FRS, which I've not gotten to that video yet either. That's coming soon. Uh, we're excited about that motor swap and that's gonna be a really cool tail of the dragon rip around town car because it's gonna be fun. But anyway, I, I ended up with, here I am, I'm sidetracked again. It's like squirrel, squirrel. It does, it's got rims and <laughs> Uh, it's, it's a complete car, short of uh, motor transmission. I do have everything else. And it up. ran before you took and it apart. It, it, ran, it ran great. So if anybody's interested in a GTO, I hear body panels are at a premium. Uh, there's, you know, quarter panels are good on it. Everything's straight on it. it. Just needs a new owner other than my yard because I got what I wanted off of it. So anyway, back to the drop of hand. <laughs> Sometimes I forget where I was. Uh, we've got our straps, our wheel straps. Um, I've got some bigger heavier duty slings and some smaller straps. We're starting to get accumulated on that stuff. Um, our ice forks so we can dig in some of our, our hatches. And, uh, uh, I'm showing you all these. I've got toolboxes now, guys. So these, <laughs> I didn't have toolboxes before. Think of, think of what I can pile into these things. <laughs> but anyway, guys, super cool truck. Um, it's got the air seat, uh, air brake, uh, backup camera. It's, it's got everything that we need short of Kristen's. She might drive this one. I don't know. I might be the co-pilot, but I'm thinking we need to take that other hard crappy seat out and put another one of these cool air seats in for her so she can, uh, save her back too. So that might be something down the road we're thinking about. Uh, I've looked into pricing on some of that stuff might be cool. I did order a uh, uh, steering wheel hold down. It's uh, telescopic. Uh, thought that would be cool. Let's show. Let's show on the engine. So anyway, guys, yeah, it's got the Eaton Fuller six-speed transmission. The guy had it. He put 
Put, uh, I think it was 150,000 miles and it had a head gasket problem. So instead of putting the motor in and rebuilding, you didn't have time for that. This is a one owner truck. He needed to get it going. So they put a, a low, it, it doesn't even have 20,000 miles on it. So for what I paid for this thing, it's amazing. I wish we had some more light. We don't it's really, pretty bright. It's pretty bright. Mm -hmm. But check this out, guys. I mean, there's, it's still painted. It's still nice in paint. I don't know if you can see up there or not. But uh, it's a little dusty. But um, this uh, this 466 is what I wanted from day one when we got into to the towing thing, hot and heavy here. This is the motor that I wanted, and uh, I see I see all of the hype on this thing because we came back from uh, from Indianapolis, Indiana, with this, and it 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 idled it idled in uh, coming up uh, rarity. We were we were hooking and booking, and um, really is an awesome engine. Um, thinking about uh, thinking about some stacks too. So drop that comment down. I'm gonna have comments galore in this video. <laughs> comment down below. I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking exhaust stacks. I, I'm gonna have to let my money recover from that crazy thing. But I'm thinking exhaust stack kit. Uh, one on both sides. Um, you know, it's an emissions-free truck, so it sounds amazing. So maybe we'll put some big flaps. Some big exhaust flaps on it or something. I don't know. It definitely has all the lighting for it. One tank and uh, that's really kind of that in a nutshell. I know, like I said, a lot of people have wanted wanted that video from me on the little truck. I just haven't got there yet. We did a little cleaning out on it here uh, after our winter storm, so I will get that video to you. I know somebody asked me for a, uh, a video on dollies. They, uh, we're going to put that in a YouTube short on how to use dollies and what that takes to deploy those things. So uh, I promise, guys, it's it's slow season and I'm and I'm here. Luckily, slow season came when I needed to to get this thing, try to get it ready. But we're going to get those videos coming to you. Uh, I pretty much went through the shop van. I don't know if I went through the rollback and things that we needed. To, so I've got plenty of things that you guys want to see. Uh, so maybe I'll get to some of those things during our slow our slow season and show you guys just what's on our trucks and what's in them and how we use them and things like that so stick around stay tuned um like i said drop those comments down below on any of that stuff that i talked about we love hearing from you guys we love hearing the uh the comments and um the suggestions there's um there's always very useful things that you guys bring to me just like when we were doing the uh the shop van I was trying to figure out how where to put lockout rods and things like that. And you, we had a fellow that commented, go get fishing pole mounts and then your lockout rods will click right into those fishing pole mounts. So I would have never thought of things like that. So you guys are very helpful when it comes to stocking trucks and, and, uh, and great ideas. I always, uh, always love those. So keep them coming. Subscribe. We appreciate all of our subscribers. We're coming up with 49,000, um, coming up on that 50 K mark. Uh, so we're really excited about that. And we're going to do that 50K giveaway. We've got that really nice dash cam that we're going to put in there and maybe a few other things. Uh, we've gotten lots of donations that we need to get through. Uh, so this summer is very exciting. We've got a lot of things coming where we're going to do more giveaways and more donations and help helping people. And But yeah, appreciate it. Subscribe. Like I said, that helps us uh, get all of this stuff out there. And, and uh if you keep watching we'll keep filming so stick around stay tuned got more coming your way okay guys uh, i guess while it's on my mind and we just did all of the other stuff for the truck and we talked about the giveaway it's probably it's probably close enough to just try to get this video in on that since we've got all of these other comments going um everybody's going to be you know giving us their their input down below and that's gonna that's gonna enter but here's what we're gonna do this is gonna be our giveaway video i think i think that's gonna work best for us um, we, we do have that King Slim 4K dash cam, really awesome dash cam. If you guys watch our channel, you know that um, it's in our small truck and it has helped us out through rain, sleet, snow, fog. It does an amazing job on recording. So that's going to be what we're going to give away in our, uh, our, 50K, our 50K giveaway. So just drop a comment down below and then you're automatically entered. So if you're commenting in this video, we're going to do random picks. Uh, from the comments from this and uh some lucky winner is going to get uh, one, of, one of our dash cams and what we're also going to do is we're going to give away a t-shirt i have many t -shirts? four t-shirts to give away okay we got four t-shirts if you guys if you've not been to our merch store 
go check out our merch store. Um, in there, you'll, you're going to see all, all the different T-shirts uh, that we're going to give away. So pretty much we're just going to do one of each that's in our merch store. So go check that out. It's like um, we've got just a few uh, of those left of the limited. Uh, but comment down below. You're gonna, we've got four T-shirts. We've got a hoodie. We've got a hat. It's going to be a hat like this one that I wear. I kind of need a new one. <laughs> Silly dog chewed up the top of mine and everything. <laughs> Can't leave anything laying around. That dog will chew up everything. Uh, but anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, comment down below. That's going to get you entered in, in our uh, giveaway for our 50 K. They need to comment what size. Yes. That's important. And we have one women's shirt and it's a women's large. So if they prefer that one, they need to say women's large. Okay. So you heard it. You heard it first here, guys. Um, that's going to be very important as far as uh, getting you guys the right size for that. Of course the dash cam one size fits all. So, but if you're commenting down below, after after you get done with your comment just put an l for large or extra small or extra large put what size in after your comment in this video that way if you do win one of those t-shirts that will be able to get you the correct size as well and then um just just hang out and wait for this video to come up and and uh so this one this one will be cool so we're, we're gonna have god potentially seven eight four five six seven seven winners mm -hmm. so that'll be that'll be a cool a cool give back to you guys um so seven lucky winners in this video if you have won in this video this is very important if you are the lucky winner of any of the seven different things that we're going to give away in this video please remember um in true fashion of all our other videos there's so many scammy people in this world and um we want to make sure i will not I will not send you an email, a phone call, a text message, a fax. I won't send you anything stating that you owe me money or give me money so I can send you your stuff. That will, will not happen. But yeah, guys, if you win in this video, we will announce in the next video who won. And um, we will do those with those names will be verbally announced in the next video. It won't be a phone call. It won't be. And I definitely won't ask you for any money. If you win, you win. There's no shipping involved. There's no pay me this. Uh, that doesn't happen. So uh, we will announce in the next video who is the winner. And then we will reach out and, uh, and contact you for uh, for that shipment and where it needs to go. Mailing addresses, things like that. So uh, just know that that's how that takes place. And um, don't fall for any scams. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. So don't forget, put your size, get your comment in, and we will get you guys some cool stuff. And thank you so much for the 50K. It has been a wild ride and I'm looking for another 50K. See you guys next time.